stable LM 3 billion LM is a 3 billion parameter language model optimized for portable devices. This model is efficient, low cost, and outperforms similar or even larger models. This model is really suitable for tasks like writing help and coding, and it can also be fine tuned. This stable LM is open sourced and available on Hugging Face right now. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can install it locally, either on your Linux system or using Git Bash on Windows. You can also install it on AWS SageMaker Notebook, or you can install it in the Google Colab. For this demo, I'm going to use Google Colab, but the steps will be similar for all the other operating systems. The first step which you need to do is to install the Transformers library. So let me install it in my Google Colab. Pip install Transformers. Click on play, and it should take a few seconds to get it installed. Let's wait for it to finish. Transformers is installed. Now in the next step, let's specify the model, initialize the tokenizer, and then download it. And this is a command for it. Let's run it. And let me also show you quickly how big this model is. So if you go to Hugging Face, go to Files and Versions, you can see that the file size is around 5.5 GB. Now let's go back to our notebook. It has given me an error. Let's see what the error is. Okay, so it is saying that I need to authenticate it. It means I need to log into the Hugging Face. So let me log in there. Now, in order to log into Hugging Face, this is what you need to do. First, we need to install this Hugging Face Hub module and then we need to import this notebook login and then login with the notebook underscore login let's play it and this is going to also ask us for the hugging face token so while this happens let me show you so this is where you need to put in your token go back to your hugging face and then scroll up click on your profile click on settings maybe open it in a new tab And from there, on the left hand side, click on access tokens, click on new token. I'll just say models and generate token. And we'll simply copy it, go back, paste your token here, and click on login. And you can see my login is successful now. Let's run it again. Let me Go here and plus code, paste again and run it. So you can see the, uh, this time it has logged in successfully and it is downloading few of the files. First it has downloaded some of the config files for the model and stuff. And then it is now downloading that model which I showed you which is 5.5 gig. My bandwidth speed looks good today which is nice. And the ETA is around 30 seconds or so. So let's wait for it to finish. So this has finished downloading the tensors of the models and now it is consolidating it. And then let's wait for it to finish before we proceed to the next step. In the next step, we are just going to specify our tokenizer and then we will give it a prompt then generate the output from the model. So this has finished downloading. Now in the next step, let's give it this prompt. I'm just simply asking it what is the capital of Australia. And then I'm generating the output on the basis of this input and some of the hyperparameters like this randomness, which is a bit high. And then the output token, the top probability, and then the how much output I want. Let's run it and see what happens. There you go. So it is given me capital of Australia is Canberra, and then there are a few other um, 
things because it's a base model is not fine tuned so we can expect these sort of responses but at least it has given me quite a relevant good answer so let me just ask it a bit more hard question URL. You are, uh, you're an expert in custom renovation just give me steps to renovate the bathroom let's see if it can role play so not really now let's ask it a coding question write a python program to reverse a list of strings Oops, I think it is again hallucinating. Okay, so you can see that for simple question answer it works, but for coding one it's really struggling. Let's ask it one final question and remember a very simple Python program. Let's see. Okay. No, you can see that it has printed some Chinese here anyway, and then some dollar figure from Australia. So I believe that still a good model, but we need to fine tune it. But this is how you install it. And you can also um, see more information about it on their Hugging Face page in the model card. So they have this um, model description way where they are saying that um, it is decoder only language model pre-trained on 1 trillion token of diverse English and code data set for code what so only there are uh, it, it is trained on code data set but as you can see that still it's need it needs to be fine-tuned and then you know these are the commands which I used and then there is few uh, more information around it that it is an auto regressive language model based on transformer decoder architecture still quite cool um, the thing which I really like about it is that it is of smallish size and then we can fine-tune on it and the best thing is that these, these are sort of the model which can be put in on mobile phones tablets and all the small devices and even can be run on um, laptops with GPUs. Unfortunately, you won't be able to run it on CPU because it needs um, an NVIDIA GPU in order to be uh, running properly. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.